Hi there. Welcome back to our video series of Applied Machine Learning with Kara CV and Kara NLP. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate from Google ML team. In our last episode, we showed you how to use Kara CV to perform object detection. And if you recall, at the end, we used the stable diffusion to generate several artificial images and then conduct detection on those images. So today, we're going to take a closer look at image generation with Stable Diffusion using Keras CV. Stable Diffusion is a powerful text-to-image model open sourced by Stability AI. While there exist multiple open source implementations that allow you to easily create images from textual prompts, Keras CV is offering a few advantages. This include XLA compilation, and mixed precision support, which together achieves state-of-the-art generation speed. It's super easy to invoke stable diffusion with Kara CV. As you can see here, we're passing in a string, which is often called prompt, and a batch size of three. And the model is able to generate three stunning images, which is exactly what the prompt is describing. It is that easy. Let's try a different prompt. Another three amazing images. This just looks like magic. So how does it work? At the core, it's a diffusion process that takes a learned machine learning model to generate images from random noises. There's a great Keras tutorial that walks you through how to implement this diffusion model with Keras step by step. I highly recommend you check out the link below. Other than the diffusion model, there's a text encoder which turns your prompt stream into a latent vector. This vector will be concatenated to a randomly generated noise patch. The new vector will be repeatedly denoised by the diffusion model. Finally, the latent image goes through the decoder which turns the 64 by 64 Im image patch into a higher resolution 512 by 512 image. For a more detailed explanation, I highly recommend a video from our colleague Divya. You can find the link below. There are several open source stable diffusion models available, but Keras CV enjoys several unique advantages to make it run much faster. To see how, let's start benchmark the unoptimized model at the baseline. It takes about eight seconds to generate three images on an A100 GPU. Now let's turn on mixed precision, which basically means performing computations using float 16 precision while storing float 32 weights. This is faster because NVIDIA GPUs have specialized FP16 op kernels that runs faster than their FP32 counterparts. This time, it takes only six seconds to finish. Next, let's try out XLA compilation. We can do this by setting the JIT compile flag to true while constructing the model again. Now let's benchmark the XLA model. It takes about 6.3 seconds. Finally, we can put everything together and turn on both mixed precision and XLA compilation. This time, it only takes about 4.2 seconds. Almost half of the time it takes for the unoptimized model at the very beginning. We can compare all the results here. I should point out that the benchmark was done on an A100 GPU, so your result may vary. As you can see, it's super easy to run the stable diffusion model with Kara CV. And the TensorFlow tooling mixed precision and XLA compilation gives you even more performance and allows you to experiment much faster. Okay, so let's wrap up for today. So far, we have covered using Kara CV to perform image classification, data augmentation, object detection, and finally, image generation. Next time, we're going to move on to Kara's NLP. See you next time.